How's it going everybody? So today I want to talk about alternative operating systems on our way to digital minimalism. A lot of people think that in order to become a digital minimalist, you have to have a dumb phone, go to the woods and never see the light of day. But everybody finds balance in a different way. For example, I have a light phone that I use when I'm out and about. And whenever I come back home, I have an iPhone that I use in order to reply for work stuff, emails and everything in between. What I do is I allow my iPhone to forward every call and every text to my light phone so I am notified but I don't reply right away, but I wait until I get home. And that is something that has worked for me and may work for you. If you want to see a video about that, I'll leave it in the card above. But other people may need extra functions. Some of them may not be able to go all the way into a light phone or go all the way into a dumb phone. They need certain functions in their devices. They may need to search certain things. They may need a GPS or whatever it is. Or you may just want some music or some convenience or a camera to take pictures of your kids or everything that you're doing when you're going around in your day. So that is something that is difficult to say which one works and for who. But two of the devices that I have found that are really helpful are the Ubuntu Touch devices and the Selfish devices. These devices are alternative operating systems and there are three reasons why I think they deserve your consideration. The first reason is their support. These devices are old. This device is from 2016. This device is from 2014. And they still get updates. They still get the latest updates and the latest features as much as possible, of course, within the hardware limitations. And they are able to run pretty much flawlessly their operating systems. This is something that is not seen on Android or iOS, which are always pushing you to get the latest update. If you have an Android, maybe it lasts a year or two if it's a flagship device. And if it's an iOS, you may last three or maybe even four years if you're lucky and you bought the latest and greatest. But if you buy something from the middle pack or from the lower end, you may only get support for a year. So these devices allow you to not be distracted with what's the shiny new thing because you're going to get it with the alternative operating system. There's other alternative operating systems. And I may cover them from time to time. If you're interested or if you have any questions about a specific one, you can drop it down below. The second reason that I think these devices are viable options is because of the features that they have or the lack of features. They may have the basic things like texting and calls, but they don't have all of the apps because these devices are community oriented and their developers are from the community mainly. They don't have these big apps and the latest games and everything that distracts all of us. They have just the bare necessities and maybe a couple of extra things. If you are into messaging, you may have Telegram, you may have Signal on these devices or clients for those, but you're not going to have the full fledged thing because those are usually only developed for iOS and Android. So you have some of the features, you have still a camera, you still have pictures that you can share and SMS and you know you may have a couple of extra things but you don't have it all which allows you to limit your time you're not using your phone all the time and you're using only for intentional purposes of course you can do it with a smartphone as well but it may be a little bit more difficult because you have the ability to install the latest apps you have the ability to install the latest games and everything in between the third reason why I think that an alternative operating system may be beneficial for you is because of privacy. As you may know, now that you have all of these apps and all of these services trying to get your data, privacy has become something that is very near and dear to a lot of users. And on the iOS or the Android world, it is a little bit difficult to have that full privacy. When it comes to these operating systems, Selfish OS, and when it comes to Ubuntu Touch, they are very private, or at least they allow you to have that privacy if you know how to do it. So for example, on Ubuntu Touch and on Selfish, you have terminals, which is pretty much the command lines of your Windows user, where you can activate or deactivate certain things within your phone. You can shut down your Wi-Fi or shut down your network connection, shut down your Bluetooth or investigate and audit the operating system. This one is a little bit more open or user friendly. This one is a little bit more closed because it's made from a company that's trying to get profit. This is made from a foundation. So it's kind of more community if you want to think about it that way. But when it comes to privacy, these devices are excellent because they allow you to 
you know, take away all of the permissions and everything in between so that you know what the apps are using and that you also know what you want to give. So these alternative operating systems that are made from the community, they allow you for that privacy and they have certain features can be a really good way for you to try, you know, kind of make it more balanced. You have still certain features, you still have GPS, you still have uh, Spotify or at least clients for Spotify, but you don't have the full thing. And I think that allows you to be a little bit more balanced and to try different things and to support a community that is really invested into making this, you know, more vibrant. Because honestly, no one is benefiting from Android and iOS being the only players. It doesn't help people. It's not helping. You know, there's a lot of studies that are going into competition and how these are pretty much monopolizing the market. And maybe I'll get into that commentary of that in a couple of videos. But I think this different operating systems can help you find a little bit more balance and I hope you decide to try them out. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.